Okay, Chris from Cool Tool Shed, and this is my third take on this. Uh, I've been asked to make uh, show a little video on how I made the cabinet doors for my between the stud cabinetry. Uh, it's pretty simple, so I'm not going to do a big, huge, long, drawn out video. Uh, all I did was obviously measure the inside, up and down, got my dimensions. I used one by six pine, two pieces for each door, for each panel. And then I took a quarter inch, that's eh, a little bit over a quarter inch, probably half inch, uh, piece of uh, two by six, uh, cut the strips, wood screwed them together, top and bottom. So, and then what I did was I attached them to the, the cabinet base uh, carcass with these uh, little hinges. And then to cover up any gaps, because I cut these a little short because the openings were, I think it was like... Uh, we'll call it 15 and this was probably 15 and a half so instead of trying to angle everything out and uh, run it through I figured I'd clean it all up with the trim so what I did was I took some uh, 2 by 6 and uh, I cut all these pieces a little bit long while my strips are quarter inch strips so that I could manipulate them around to where I could get the right fit and then I cut them to size I laid these ones first the top and the bottom to cover up any gaps as you can see, there's a, quite a bit of an overhang here, but I wanted it to, to really cover it up. So, and then on the inside, after, is where I covered up the gap between this and this. So, then all I did was uh, pin nail them together. There's no glue or anything like that, so it was pretty quick, uh, fairly easy. <coughs> Over here, this was a double 22 inch, 22 and some change. Uh, cabinet so it was a lot longer uh, up and down same distance I can't remember I'm gonna say 17 inches but uh, so these doors when they were before the trim work they were really close but it was uh, tighter, tighter up here than down here so I fixed all that with a little quarter inch trim work now they all look fairly square and you know it's a little off but not bad for a for shop cabinets and uh, Done with all, all scraps, all right, scraps, shorts from other projects, and uh, so it didn't really cost me anything other than the hinges and the uh, magnets. These are buck thirty, I think, at Lowe's or whatever that big blue box box store is. So that's all I did. I got uh, about ten dollars into it, and uh, I'm good to go. So I hope this helps. Uh, the trim work is a great way to cover up any. Uh, unsquareness as you would say so i hope this helps and uh, we'll talk to you guys later